No, Bernard of the Bag of the Chance, the Carney Man of the Freeman, and Perlita, Judy Shepard, Living Water, and all your little team. Harry, Robo Knight, Dave, and Perlita, let me help you. Carney, Bernard, and your, your team. When you hire scripts or a bunch of actors to run a movie out for you or, you know, do your cover up, as they write the script for your cover up, and you're watching me and the, the, the group of people live, Bernard. All right. Those people who write the script for you, Bernard, okay, and they deliver it as they are watching me and you guys are spying live for your big time investigation with the Oyster Cracker Experimentator Man and the All American and Tiller, whatever. They're, those people who write the script, all right, and your actors, your carny actors, and so what, Bernard? Okay, they deliver it. They get to see the aftermath of it on the other side. So they live the reality that I don't get to see after they post the script. That's the way you kind of live. But the point is, Bernard, your actors and your script writers, your, your backstory or whatever, they know you're liars because you guys need to have a cover-up written up for your past deeds. Tom Sorsen, Jim Riley, Trevor Rieger, Joe Zelli, Harry Race, Bernard the Chance, DJ Dave, Perlita Quinn, Juan Elton Anderson, Don Wiley, 1961, Oyster Cracker Man, Bitted Bat Ford, Blue Boy Boxes, GPS Special, Robo, Rapist Night, Red Randy, Rick Gordon and Ellery, Jim Hall, Bill Duvall, Morgan, Steve Jones. Branch of Indians, Jonestown, Haven Kate, Carney, Country and Western, Ghetto Life, Tomb Raider Boy, Comic Book Boy, The Barnyard Rapist, The Chair Rapist, The McDonald's Rapist, The Blue Room Rapist, The Tile, Team Bitted by the Bugs, okay, all that stuff, Whispering Faggot of Fairmount, all the things that the nasty stuff that you guys did, okay, Bernard, it's like writing a book. So they come in and script the, your cover, the group of your guys' cover up, Bernard, and then they deliver it. And then they, you guys watch it live. Bernard and Perlita and their team watch it live because you get off on it, Bernard. So your script writers and stuff, you guys live the aftermath of your live performance, right? But see, the people you hire, like scripts or, you know, your actors, Bernard, know that the group of you are liars. So they don't have to be loyal to your story, Bernard. So then they get another set of reality and you're the one stuck in the aftermath, Bernard. Meaning you're wrong. Remember, you wanted water, McDonald's, coffee, all that stuff. Bernard, you and Taco Joe are the ones who have a problem because you're basically off the premise and you're doing Steely of the Bit again. The, where the bitten? Because so, was Perlita in competition with Aaron or whatever? And then the Freemans in competition with the Schwartzes or whatever like that. What you, Bernard, and Karen, and Stan, and Pepsi Center, Perlita, and the Jacksons you guys are doing is fucking dumb, Bernard. Because those, your actors and all that, like I said, they, they don't have to be loyal to you. The military, the doctors, firefighters, teachers, the FBI, CIA, NSA, the tech companies, all that, they don't, and the Hollywood celebrities, Bernard. They don't have to be loyal to you because they know the group of you need to have a cover-up created for the crybaby All-American and all that crap. And they'll be the squad and Red Randy and all that. So they get the reality, they get to see the the live crap that you're for your investigation of the spoiled. Then they get to see the aftermath. And then they get to have the reality that most of us won't see. So they get to share the two, but there's gonna be another set that the group of you won't see. It means, Bernard, that all you do is you're a pain in the ass, spoiled egotist with that guy. Ellery in his boxes and shit. Just so you guys can be rapists and murderers and liars. You stole it, Bernard. Once you overlap reality that much and lie that much from the original intent, how do you catch up with everybody else or the other nations? That's why the overseas are good at what they do because they've already had to live through it. Because they can expect what the All-Americans are already going to do. So you can pretend all you want, Bernard, that you're successful. But like I told you, there's other operations going. And so, Mr. Shh, and you, all that shit they you guys do, you guys just pretend Indian fade. Episcopal turds, living water, all that. They're, they're setting you in, Bernard, with your stolen stuff. But a lot of people don't have to be loyal to you or doing the acting and the scripting, scripting, Bernard, or the hospitals or anybody you guys make victims. Any of that. Because they already know you're going to be liars and spying on the Starbucks, this and that. So they set the, the Ellery stealing shit and the GPS night and all that. 
Bernard, all you do is sit there and lie and come up with some back ass story to make yourself have attention and do shit. The premise is, is that the group of you adults are pissed because you guys know it's not your stuff and then look at the, the carny circus and mess all over the place. I think you're pissed, Bernard, with Dave and some of them. It's because you gonna you know you're gonna die and you're not gonna be important. And all you do is do the Aurora Central debate team cry baby let's scam all the time. Corny That's what happens when you run a terrorist regime, Bernard and you that spoiled and you torture people and lie. You gotta have everything in the world. So they're putting it together for you, Car Crybaby Bernard. But like I said, in certain circles of the world, in certain societies, in certain nations, the group of you will always be known as lying sex of shit of the fucking planet Earth and rapists and liars and con artists looking for fame and all that stuff just so you look important before you die. I told you, Bernard, there was a time where you didn't need it to, you know, it wasn't there. But you keep asserting that you want to have the dominant rule over the earth with Perlita and Dave, you can. And I'm not going to stand in your way, but you're going to look like dumb shit. You, all Bernard wants to do is take credit for everything and steal everybody's shit. And like I said, we find the ones that put in the hacks and the tabloids, all that stuff. The same typical atheist, we didn't do it, but then we'll admit it kind of attitude. Basically, like I said, Bernard, once the four of you men took over and did your shit, and put in Polita and Dave and your Masonic youth and the Golden Child and da 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 copy 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 cut and screwed up her stuff and everybody's stuff. The world sucked. So you can have your paid for performance, Bernard, and everybody will do it. But like I said, everywhere you guys go and burst through for your immortality, it's gonna suck, and it's gonna take you guys a hundred times longer because the group of you think you don't have to do anything, and everybody else in the world has to do it for you.